Hey, this is Nick from Bimpure. In this short video, I want to talk about the new features in Revit 2025.2. The biggest one is the addition of tab views in the project browser. So you can see all the icons up there. So you can easily switch to views, legends, schedules, sheets, families, groups, and links. Or if you click on the first icon, it will have the same behavior as the original project browser, where every single element can be seen. So that's the first addition, pretty nice, I would say. Secondly, the Manage Links uh, menu. If you go to Manage Links in Revit 2024, so in the old version, you can see this is what the Manage Links used to look like. And if I go to Revit 2025 instead, that is right here, I'm going to Manage Links, you can see the menu is completely different. Instead of having tabs with all the different file types, uh, all of them are listed here. Uh, with a drop down where you can see all the files for Revit, for CAD, PDF images. In the uh, case of PDF and images, you can see uh, in this file they've been imported. You can uh, change a path type. If you want to reload from, you have to click on the three small dots and reload from. If you click on uh, one of the file, you can see more information on the right on uh, this little tab right here. And uh, if it's an image or a PDF, you can see the resolution as well as extra information. So overall, this menu uh, looks pretty good now and it seems to be filled with uh, helpful information. Another major update is the new version of Dynamo that is now at 3.2.1 that is included with Revit 2025.2. The biggest change is the introduction of this new home screen. There are also a few small changes. You can learn more if you go to the Dynamo blog and you'll see new updates such as new paneling nodes, new defined data node, and uh, quality of life improvements. Finally, the last update is regarding twin motion. They've just added this substitution settings that allows you basically to take a Revit object and make sure that it converts to something that renders well inside of twin motion. So for example, you could create, take this uh, Revit tree and assign a specific tree inside of twin motion so uh, you don't have to map it directly inside of twin motion and therefore save a lot of time so that's it for today's video if you've enjoyed it go to bimpure.com and check out our collection of revit courses basics design manage heroic families as well as downloadable files the pro template the door families dynamo scripts and many more content that is available with a bimpure subscription learn more at bimpure.com thank you